Hi all, and welcome to Night Rips. So, got, definitely got my little mini studio here set up with all my Hank Aaron's, uh, at least the cards we pulled, along with the one bobblehead that matches the card that we pulled. Uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully Hank will bring us a little bit of luck of finding the rest of his cards and helping me, you know, flesh out my uh, my little desk here while I'm while I'm opening more of these 1990 edition upper decks. Uh, this has been a it has been a fun rip, you know, Hank Aaron. You know, as as a Braves fan and a longtime Braves fan, yeah, I started watching the the Braves back whenever TBS went national. Uh, you know, it was either the Cubs or the Braves for those of us that didn't have teams where you're from. So I, I became a Braves fan way back when. Um, so Hank always has a special place in your heart. But at the same time, you know, it's kind of hard for anyone not to like Hammer and Hank. He, was, he did so much for baseball. And, and he definitely, he broke some barriers in the South that needed to be broken you know one of the things and if you ever get a chance to go to any games here in atlanta um going to bray stadium there's a park called uh monument garden and they have you know they they have a statue of him hitting 715 uh they have bats set up i always like this rookie threats and bagwell is actually right here um they have bats set up for the marking the 755 home runs he hit, and they tell the story. And we actually have an entire weekend ded dedicated to Hank. Actually, I think I had, that's where I got this bobblehead a couple years ago. Um, got a special bobblehead during it this year that hopefully I'll be able to bring it out. But um, we'll, we have to wait and see if I have to get to pull a special card for that. But, uh, yeah, he he definitely is a special place in our heart, but I think he's a special place in all of our hearts. There's Dave Parker. He's with the Angels. He was so many places after Pittsburgh. So, you know, he did so much for the sport, and he did so much for the, after the sport. You know, he was always one of those ones that would attend games when he could. It's Carlton Fisk, team card. It's funny, so they do a tool race every game, and I'm I'm a season ticket holder with with the Braves. Uh, you know, I, lo I love the sport of baseball so much, but uh, they do a tool race every game, and you could always tell when Hank Aaron was in the stadium because the hammer would always win. So it's just one of those things, and I know this year is special. You know they have carved a 44 out in center field and uh it, it's hard to it's hard to go to the day, the games knowing that you know hank's not with us anymore um and you see so much dedicated to him in that stadium so again if you ever get a chance to go to the a braves game um i highly recommend it you know plus you get to see the braves play so it's lou whitaker you know another him and Ricky Henderson, big time base stealers, and that's what makes this this uh, this set special, is knowing that this one is dedicated to Hank. I mean, nothing wrong with Mister October, Reggie Jackson, nothing wrong with Nolan Ryan, Ted Williams, but you know, Hank Aaron is just was something somebody special. You know, you you. Like I said, you go to Monument Garden, you watch the videos, and you read the placards about it. And a lot of people didn't realize that, you know, he was getting death threats uh, when he was about ready to break Babe Ruth's record. So, again, while Jackie Robinson it was, was a great one, I, I say the same thing for uh, Hank Aaron. There's Dave Stewart team card for the athletics it's weird because you know they and they i don't think they brought it out this year 
Um, at least I don't remember seeing it because Monument Garden, yeah, it's it's been a lot different now uh, with COVID and whatnot. But uh, typically, what during the Hank Aaron weekends, you know, where they usually put the the you know World Series trophies and whatnot, they usually have the bat, you know, the bat he broke the record with, and I don't think they had it this year. At least I, I don't remember seeing it. Again, it's trying to be a little bit more cautious. Just because, you know. Unfortunately, we're still in the midst of all this. Spawn Hayes. Yeah, it's probably why even if I don't if if I don't get all nine of the cards, uh I may actually try to find me some more of this the high number series. Because that you know the other thing is that this is a this is a huge set. I think this was another eight hundred card set. Actually I know it was another eight hundred card set. Uh you're not gonna get all eight hundred just with one retail box. So yeah, I'll probably end up getting more of this. But more because of, yeah, like I said, I want to get the Hank Aaron's. And also, I'm a set completer, so there's the Giants. Oh, I forgot to mention the previous one was the, the Mariners. There's Jeff Conine, star rookie. Where I pulled him. Three more packs. So, since, since I'm on this Hank Aaron kit going on right now... Um, what, what's y'all's feelings? You know, make sure to put it in the comment section below. You know, he's... He was special to, to us Braves fans, but... Like I said, I think he was special to a lot of fans. Oh, it's just part of the light. It's Junior Felix. I can get used to spinning these cards this fast. I have to re reline myself up every time, though. There's George Bell again. Oh, that's Frank Tanana. You know, he pitched for the Tigers for quite a while before going over to the Angels. And I'm getting... Kind of, kind of spoiled. I'm not having to flip cards around. That's kind of strange. Oh, here we go. Matt Young. We got our sticker, which would be the Indians. Chief Wahoo. Again, kind of cool that, because it won't be long before there won't be any more. And then we have Kevin Belcher. For Star Rookie, which we've already pulled. Okay. Well, I'm kind of disappointed we haven't pulled any of the Hank Aaron Baseball Heroes card yet. But still got two packs to go. Yep, Kenny Rogers. Those Texans. There's the George Bell, Andre Dawson, Ryan Sandberg. Of course, it's upside down. Of course, I can always tell by the by the logo, really. Greg Gagne. Oh, and right afterwards, of course, he's upside down right here, would be primetime. One of two of the two sport players in this pack. The other one being Bo Jackson. And I've already put... Prime time out. That's why I didn't put them to the side. Terry Pendleton. Wow, there's a lot of Braves in this one. This is, must be the Braves pack. All right, that's maybe that's the good luck we need. Being the Braves pack might be the one that we see either 715 or even better, we see number nine with an auto on it. Which I would go crazy. Okay, we did get oh, so we did get a I mean a Hank. Sorry, I've been opening way too much of the 1990.
We did get Hank, but it's Hank for Hall of Fame, which we already have. So I'll put him over here. For our sticker, we got the Detroit Tigers. And the last card, which would be Steve Decker, star rookie. All right, one pack to go. One more trip, uh, one more trip through uh, through memory lane before this video is over. And make sure you subscribe and notify because plans are more more videos will come out, and I do mix these up a lot so that don't want to just you know put the same stuff out over and over and get bored with it. There's Fred McGriff when he was still with the Blue Jays. This would be one of the early cards because he went to Padres later this year. And that was definitely before he came here to Atlanta and then went to Tampa and retired. But used to watch the Crime Dog play quite a bit. Speaking of the two sport players, there's the other one, Mr. Bo Jackson. Well, these cards have been in pretty decent order. The A's logo always messes me up because it's so close to the to the prospect. Corey Snyder, I think that's a you know that's a low card because he has a upper one I think with the White Sox. Andy Maldonado. And for the, our decal, we got the Texas Rangers. And for the last card, we have Eric Karos, star rookie. So let's do a quick recap. So we ended up, we did pull one of the Hank Aarons, the, uh, you know, his Hall of Fame card from 1982. We did pull two of the Vernon Wells. Was that Carlton Fisk and Dave Stewart? We pulled let me count these four different star rookies. Um, of course, every one of these we've pulled before, so nothing too crazy with this one. You know, we pulled Dion, we pulled Bo. Um, good cards, but you know, starting to see starting to see some repeats now, which is kind of strange because it is an 800 card set and so you know you don't really want to see very many repeats when you only have 36 packs but you know that was just the way it the way it goes so i appreciate you watching the video make sure to subscribe so you know when i put more up and if you have any comments you know and talk about hank go ahead and put it in the comment section below and until next time we will see you later bye now